Hi everyone, welcome to our butterfly adventure. My name is Sarah and I'm from the University of Illinois Extension 4-H team here in Livingston County. I am so excited to have you with us for our butterfly adventure. Normally we're in the schools this, this spring to talk about butterflies, but we're going to do it a little bit differently this year. So we have a lot planned. Um, our first episode here today is going to be going over the butterfly life cycle. So I might get my glasses out here and we're gonna go through, oh boy, our first stage of the butterfly life cycle is the egg. And I have a bunch of blow ups that we're gonna use just so we can get a kind of a closer look about what they are like. But this is a picture of the egg. And this is, an, this is an example of an egg of a monarch butterfly. So you'll notice that there are a lot of, even though it's made out of plastic, you can see different green dots all the way around and a flat top, right? So when the egg is deposited by the female butterfly, it is normally right, if my arm is a leaf, your, the egg would be placed right there. So that is stage one. Stage two is this guy. This is called a caterpillar. And you are 4-H scientists during our adventure. So we're gonna use some scientific terms. One of the scientific terms for caterpillar is the term larva. I just think the word larva is kind of fun to say. Larva, larva. Yes, so anyway, the caterpillar and, or larva is the next stage. So once the caterpillar emerges from the egg, it's hungry, just like we are in the morning. When we get out of bed, we're hungry. So the first thing that caterpillars eat is the egg sac. So it eats what it grew up in. That kind of sounds funny, but remember, the really cool thing about nature is that nothing's wasted. So there's some um, good nutrients there, and that's the first meal for our caterpillar. Now, when we're talking about monarch butterflies, they are very distinctive in color, but you'll notice that the butterfly, or the, the caterpillar, has very unique colors for the monarch caterpillar. Let's take a look at those colors. We've got yellow and black and white. And the color actually communicates something very important. Let's think about what that could communicate, especially to predators or those animals that would eat these guys. So what do you think? I think, well, this communicates to them, stop! Do not eat me, I am poisonous. So that is something that colors will represent. So after a while, these guys are gonna get bigger and later on in our adventure, we're gonna talk about how they get bigger and what happens to them as they get bigger. But we wanna quickly go through the other stages. So this is, stage one is the egg. Stage two is the caterpillar or larva. Stage three is, what's this guy? This is actually, it needs to be blown up a little bit more, but this is our chrysalis. Now you might have guessed cocoon, and cocoon is actually the term that we use for this stage for those um, insects that are not butterflies, but are moths. Moths have cocoons, and butterflies have chrysalis. So you will notice that this chrysalis for the monarch butterfly is green and it has some gold, a gold band around the top with some little gold markings. So that's very unique for our monarchs. And this stage is the third one, which again is what? The chrysalis. And finally, we have What's this guy? This would be our monarch butterfly, but that doesn't mean that that's the stage name. 
stage four is actually adult. It's the adult stage of the butterfly. Now you'll notice that the wings aren't really all fluffed up because, and we'll have a video for this, um, when they emerge from the chrysalis, they emerge and their wings are kind of flat. In a few days, we're gonna talk about why that is and what we can learn about our butterflies based on that. But in the meantime, we've gone through a lot of information. So we're, let's recap. We are 4-H scientists. We know our four stages of the butterfly life cycle. One is the egg. Two is the, whoops, caterpillar or larva. Three is our chrysalis. And four is our adult. So we are going to check back. I hope to be getting our cup of caterpillars in the next day or so. So come back and we will have some fun facts and take a look at our five caterpillars we're going to get. So have a great day. Get out there and enjoy the sunshine. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.